Hi, welcome to FamilySafe. Today I'm going to be talking you through a full tutorial on how to use FamilySafe on your desktop. The video is organised into handy sections so you can easily find the topic you want. Home page. When you first log into the FamilySafe app, you will see your home page. At the top here, you'll see the home page, menu and notifications button. Under notifications, you can check your alerts, notices and change the settings for your notifications. The menu button gives you access to all the features of FamilySafe. Pairing your devices. To pair any device with FamilySafe, click on the plus sign at the top next to the name of your child's device. Choose which of your child's devices you would like to pair. You can pair using one or two methods. Either scan the QR code on the screen using your child's device or download the FamilySafe app onto your child's device and enter the code when prompted. Activity report. The activity reporting features allow parents to check the details of their child's daily phone usage in a timeline format, Provide information about when and what apps are used or which websites are visited. Check the activity report's history of any previous dates. FamilySafe stores the activity record of the previous three months. How to use. Step one, click the menu on the navigation bar, then click activity report. Step two, scroll to view the phone activity, click to check the activity report of the previous or next day. Step three, click the date to choose the date you would like to check. Step four, to check which websites are visited under the activity report section, click to see the pages visited to get the details. App Blocker. App Blocker enable parents to block any apps immediately. Receive alerts when your child tries to open blocked apps. How to use. Step one, click the menu on the navigation bar, then clip App Blocker. Step two, here you'll find all the apps on your child's phone. You can search for an app at the top here, or you can scroll through the list to find the right one. Step three, Choose the app you want to block by toggling the tap. Set rules. The set rule features allows parents to instantly block all apps on the device with one switch, set up screen time limit for the device, set up multiple time ranges each day for limiting the use of the device, set up an app limit for an app and block the app when the limit is reached, access the app blocker to individually block an app, create a list of allowed apps that can always be accessed even when there are screen limits in place. How to use. Screen time limit. Step one, click the menu on the navigation bar and click on screen time rules. Step two, click on screen time limit and toggle the enable screen time limit to switch it on or off. Step three, choose every day to set up a time limit that will be the same for each day or choose custom to set up a different limit for each day. Step four, click save to save your choices. Downtime. Step one, click on downtime. Step two, Click to enable downtime. Step three, click add downtime to enter a schedule. Step four, enter a name for the schedule and choose every day to set up a time limit that will be the same for each day or choose custom to set up a different limit for each day. Step five, click save to save your choices. App limit. Step one, click on app limit. Step two, click on add limit. Step three, choose an app or multiple apps from the categories or search for an app in the search bar. Step four, Click on next, toggle enable the screen time limit for the app. Now choose every day to set up a time limit that will be the same for each day or choose custom to set up a different time limit for each day. Step five, you can also enable a restriction schedule so the app will be blocked at certain times of the day of week. Again, choose between every day or custom to choose the time limits. Allowed apps. Step one, click on allowed apps. Step two, Customise the allowed apps list by clicking on the minus or plus signs to add or delete an app from the list. Step three, click save. Web filter. The web filter allows parents to block websites by category. FamilySafe database has more than 10 categories of websites. Parents can block the category they don't want their children to access. Block or allow websites by adding exemptions. How to use. Step one, click the menu, then click web filter. Step two, under categories, toggle on the website category switch you would like to block. Step three, click exception, then add an exception to add a website and choose whether to block or allow access to it. Then click save. YouTube app control. YouTube app control will allow parents to check the YouTube app, watch history, block inappropriate YouTube videos or channels, monitor and detect any suspicious text in the description, title, comments of the video watched, posted or commented by your child. How to use. Step one, click on the menu, then click YouTube app controls. Step two, under history, you can view your child's watch histories on the YouTube app. 
Click the lock icon next to the watch history to block the video or the channel. Click on the video title to open the video in a new tab. You can also see past watch history by using the arrows or choosing a date. Step 3. Under alerts you can check videos that contain suspicious text. Step 4. Under settings you can manage a suspicious words library and the block list. There are more than 10 categories of suspicious text. By toggling the switch beside the category you can enable or disable the category. Step 5. To manage the suspicious keywords under a category, you can click the categories first, then click edit to delete or add a word. Click to save. Step 6. Click block list to check the videos or channels you've blocked. By clicking the lock icon beside the video, you can unblock the videos. Safe search. Safe search will allow parents to block your child's browser search results if the search term includes explicit content. How to use. Step 1. Click the menu, then save search. Step 2. Toggle Enable Save Search to enable the feature. Step 3. You can view the history of search terms that have been flagged as unsafe. Click on the settings icons next to block search term to block or unblock it and click save. Step 4. Under settings you can manage the suspicious keywords by adding or deleting words to be blocked or allowed. You can click the category first, then click edit to delete or add a word. Click to save. Step 5. You can also add a new category of suspicious words by clicking the add suspicious word and then choosing a name for your new category and adding words into it. Then click save. Live location. Live location will allow parents to check the current location of their child's device. How to use. Step one, real time location can be accessed under the home page or you can go to the menu then click live location. Step two, click on the refresh icon on the bottom left corner to refresh your child's location. Location history. Location history will allow parents to check where your children have been and view their location history. How to use. Step one, click the menu and then click location history. Step two, you can check the location history timeline format. Step three, click to check the location history of the previous or next day or click on the date to choose a date you would like to check. Geofences. Geofences will allow parents to create specific zones like a school zone or home, Set up a specific area to get notified when your child enters or leaves the area. How to use. Step 1. Click the menu, then geofences. Step 2. Click to add your home, school or other place. Enter a name for the geofence and search for the location you would like to set up as a geofence. Step 3. Choose the range you would like to apply the geofence area and click save. Step 4. You will get notified when your child enters or leaves the area you've set up. Social app detection. Social apps detection will allow parents to monitor up to 14 social media platforms and detect any explicit content. Parents will receive an alert if any explicit content is found. How to use. Step one, click on the menu, then social app detection. Step two, under alerts, you can view the issue detected here. Step three, under content, you can connect up to 14 different social media accounts by toggling the button. Step four, under settings, you can manage suspicious keywords or adding or deleting words to be blocked or allowed or adding a new category. Inappropriate pictures. Inappropriate pictures will allow parents to detect photos in your child's albums that contain adult content. The detective photo will be uploaded to the parent's end for further review. How to use. Step one, click the menu and then click inappropriate pictures. Step two, under detection, you will see a record of any images found. Step three, under settings, you can toggle the enable switch to start detecting. Step four, choose an accuracy level. The higher the level you set, the fewer photos will be considered suspicious. Driving report. The driving report will allow parents to get a detailed view of their teen's driving details. You can check information like the highest speed, number of times they were over the speed limit, hard braking, and more for each single driving record. View the driving routine for each trip. Review a weekly driving summary with your family member, including information like drive duration, average speed, etc. How to use. Step 1. Click the menu, then driving report. Step 2. Drive details will show the driving information for each trip. Step 3. Under summary, you will see a weekly summary report showing total trips, the highest speed and total distance, as well as the speed and hard braking for each day. You can click here to view the reports from previous weeks. Step 5. Under settings, you can click enable to enable the feature, set the speed limit so that FamilySafe will record the number of times they go over the speed limit and choose a unit of measurement. TikTok history. The TikTok history features allow parents to 
Check their child's TikTok usage history and see what videos were watched. How to use. Step one, click the menu, then TikTok history. Step two, scroll to view the TikTok history, then click on the arrows to check the TikTok history of the previous or next day. Step three, click the date to choose a date you would like to check. Browser history. The browser history will allow parents to view your child's browser history, set visited website as an exception to be blocked or allowed, how to use. Step one, click the menu on the navigation bar, then click browser history. Step two, scroll to check your child's browser history. Click the lock beside the website address to choose to block or allow it. You can also click on the website and it will open in a new tab. Step three, click on the arrows to check browser history of the previous or next day, or click on the data to check the histories of a specific day.